Hey guys, welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain news source, aggregated news source of the day. My name is Shamari and welcome. Bang. <laughs> All right. So today, uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a new format on the show. We're going to do news first and then all the talking and stuff to the boys and everyone at the end of the show so that people that just want their news, they can get their news and get the hell on. And then, boys, we'll talk about airdrops and our, our goods <laughs> if they don't feel to make any extra money later. You know what I mean? They don't have to sit around for that. So welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Boom, look at our beautiful logo. Bang, cryptocurrency blockchain news. Now, let's get, oh, so, right, so, but my bad. The news stories of the day are, oh, shit, yeah. So, uh, Tron hodlers, if you are a Tron hodler, money, money, money. Tron's burning, Tron's burning tokens. We'll talk about that now. <laughs> now. Coinbase, uh, we're going to talk a little bit. I thought we talked about Coinbase yesterday. Yeah, and we're going to do it again today. Um, a little bit. We're not going to get too deep into it. But it's more about their strategy and stuff. And that's what we want because, I mean, look, this is a, if you're familiar, if you're new here, Coinbase. Okay, so let me explain. And that's how I, I also have to talk to people, eh, not just to you boys, but to new people. Okay, so look, guys, uh, we're waiting for two things. SEC approval and custodianship. Coinbase gave us this thing. It's called custodianship. Custodianship means when you're a hedge fund, uh, you have fifty billion, a hundred billion dollars um, to to keep your at uh, your clients' funds. You have to have them in a proper, licensed, regulated custodianship. And so that's what the big money was waiting for. There's a lot of whales out there, and they're waiting to come in, and they're waiting for what's called custodianship. And um, Coinbase just brought the first one, and like the rest of the world, it's a copycat world. So they just got approved yesterday. Go back to yesterday's story, you'll see that. And uh, so obviously you know what's going to happen. All these guys that want to be custodians are just going to copy the same application, uh, probably put down the same words, and get in there. So, uh, And then so that was the custodianship part. But also what we're waiting for, people, if you're new here and you don't know, we're also waiting for SEC approval. I know that the markets look bad. Every day is red. Uh, your 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 account looks bad and stuff. Have no fear. Have no fear, because um, we have what uh, SEC approval is coming. And when that comes, institutional investors are going to come. What's an institutional investor? An institutional investor is someone with billions and billions and billions of dollars. And that's there are many people with billions of dollars that want to come and get your goods. Uh, well, want to buy what you have, which is cryptocurrency. And they're waiting though so that they can feel secure. They're not going to put their money on Binance or Bithum and get hacked and their $50 billion stolen. But once they have um, proper regulated um, custodianship and once they have proper regulated institutions, they're going to be in here and that's going to drive your prices up. So what you own right now, I know the markets look shit every day, red, 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 red. But... Um, once this influx of money comes, this flood, it's a, it's a, a tsunami of money is on the way, you are, your holdings are going to rise. Because remember, there's only a finite amount of these goods. So when they want your goods, it's like anything. Um, if there's a finite amount of it, I mean, that's it, right? Diamonds cost that much because there's only that many of them, right? Gold costs that much because there's only that many of that. And so that's what's going to happen. And so we're going to talk to you about that. I just wanted to get new people caught up. So that's what's happening in your world, guys. And we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to elaborate on that. Everybody who's here regularly knows about that. But if you're new here, stick around. And I'm going to talk about that now. This is an interesting article here. So the last article we're going to do is about 2017 was the year of um, awakening. 2018 is the year of the institutional investor. And that's what we're talking about. If you're new around here, what we're waiting for are institutional investors. All the retail investors, you and I, just regular people, our money is already in. There is no more retail money to come in. Your, your ripples are not going to be $10 next month. I will tell you that right now. 
I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. <laughs> if that's the kind of channel you thought this was, no. We're, we're about real investing around here. And, um, but what is coming is a tsunami of money, and we're going to talk about it, okay? And I'm going to tell you all about it. Um, because don't give up. Don't, don't, don't sell out. Don't sell out now. Especially, we just got custodianship. I'm going to tell you, we'll get into all of it. So those are the stories of the day. And then boys, regular boys, J. Will, Bronx, Edwin, all you guys. Um, we'll talk at the end of the show about Talk Talk. Because I think we did a few airdrops last night, so we'll get into those. And uh, that's how we're going to do our shows from now on. Let me let me rock let me rock my shit again. Bang. Look at it. This is where you are. And this is what it's about, boys. Making money with cryptocurrency blockchain news. Okay. So now let's get to how we actually do this. Boom. Let's look at the markets. Oh man, let me do a refresh right now. Hold on. Is that real? True. Oh. See though. You see? You don't want to I know. Shmore, man, you look sad. It's all green, brother. What's up? Because I didn't want to collect some more. I still have some more coins to buy next month. That's why in two weeks. I don't want this shit to go up yet too much. I, I want this shit to stay. Look, look. I'm not even going to bullshit you. I want this shit to stay rock bottom right until the day these these whales get here. <laughs> That's it. I want to be able to collect my goods till the day the whales get here. That's just personal opinion. Anyway, guys, let's do it. You know how we do around these parts. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Litecoin, Stellar, Cardano, IOTA, and Tether still holding on. <laughs> Tether is still holding on to number 10. Look at Tron and Neo right behind, though, battling. Now, so what do we got? We got mid, uh, mid single digits gains today. Oh, everyone's just gained. Everyone. Of course, Bitcoin goes up. Everything goes up. I'm not going to get into that. You guys know how I feel about that. Boom. Oh, we got even some. Some teens, some mint teens. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see who our top earners are of the day. Bang. Oh, Power Ledger. Stratus. Nice. Stratus. They're a good company. Um, they make, uh, they're doing the, um, what do you call that? Custom made block, custom made blockchains. So if you have a company you want a blockchain, Stratus will just go make that shit for you. <laughs> you know, they're not like these other companies. That's what this is how I know them because they're not like other ones. Right? Like Zcash, Alpha, all these guys, they have their own blockchain, right? Like, you know, Ethereum, Ripple, all these guys, Stellar, all of them, Cardano, all those boys. Right? They have their own blockchain. Stratus is different. They're like, no, 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 we don't have a blockchain, but we'll flip and build you whatever one you want. You want a permissionless? We'll do it. You want a uh, 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 permission? We'll do it. You want a ERC? We'll do it. You want a this one? We'll do it. You want a that one? I like that. I like that. They're very versatile, right? Whatever. I'm not chilling. And I remember, like, you know, I don't tell you what to buy around these parts. So our top 10 earners are Power Ledger, Stratus, Decentraland, Zencash, Loom, Network, Elf, Polymath, Nano, Steam, and Zcash. All right. So people made some bread today. Oh, oh my bad. I forgot even to look at the numbers. Damn, 29%, 20%, 20%. So a big good day on the market for whatever reason. Good for the holdings. But I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, man, I want shit to be red. I want to I want to buy some more goods until the whales get here. I want it to be red till the whales get here. Then let's get green. I don't want you to, you know, snipping off my money, uh, you know, too soon. Because we know when the whales get here, well, it's game on. All right, so let's look at our first story is Coinbase. And... Blah, blah, blah. We've been talking about Coinbase around here a lot. Like, so I'm not going to get into this too deep. But just because the CEO guy said, you know, obviously it's a news show, so I got to give you news. So, and Coinbase is, let's get real. 
they're the first ones that are going to bring us these institutional investors to bring us our money. And so uh, we're going to keep an eye on Coinbase daily around these parts. So during an interview with CNBC Fast Money, Adam White, the VP and general manager of Coinbase, one of the leading cryptocurrency exchange platforms, speaks about why the platform is adding new coins. Adam said that Coinbase has a long-term vision for the crypto space and that they are focused on building the exchange, the wallet, and the custodian, which allows capital to move into the space. Capital to move into the space. He further adds that the volumes today is lower when compared to January. The general institutional manager explained that the main reason why Coinbase is adding new assets is that the customers want it. Further, he explained that the exchange platform is building a product preferred by the customers, whether they're real-tail customers or some of the, what, largest institutional investors in the space. Largest institutional investors in the space. The platform currently has more than 20 million retail investors. Adam said that uh, they, the customers, say we love the fact that we can trade on a compliant, safe, trusted platform like ours. That's what we're waiting for. That's what institutional investors want. They want a trusted, compliant, federally, you know about around these parts. Uh, well, if you're new, um, sorry. So um, uh, uh, what's happening here in America is there are a lot of billionaires, a lot, Wall Street. So Wall Street wants to get in here, but they're not going to get in here unless they know that they're, that they can, you know, uh, that they're, 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 that they are tr trading on a compliant platform and a safe and trusted platform. And that's what's happening right now in the world. All these companies are gearing up to service them, to service Wall Street. And we're new. I mean, we're not new, but we're the retail investors. So we're already in. And what's happening is all that money is waiting on the sidelines, and they're waiting for compliance. They're waiting for safety, security, and then they're going to pour their money into this market. When that money comes into this market, it's going to drive up the prices of your holdings. Whatever you own right now, your prices are going to rise um, because they're going to be buying all those goods, right? And a limited supply of something with more people wanting it means, obviously, it's economics 101, supply and demand. Your holdings are going to rise. So you're going to make a lot of money. Hold on to your cash. That's why we hold around here. We, we're about hold life around these parts, okay? Uh, later on, uh, Adam was asked whether adding assets... Wait, that's not... Oh, yeah, I had already did this crap. So White stated, so anyone can look and say why Coinbase decided to add uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ethereum because people are complaining. Why don't you add Ripple? Um, it's because of the regulatory stuff. Furthermore, he questioned about... Wait. I highlighted too much. Sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about all that other talk. The reason behind the release of Coinbase custody, custodianship a few weeks ago, was because of the institutional growth. Institutional growth. The big money. The big money. The platform is in the process of onboarding their third tranche. So, look, if you're new here to this channel, we've been following this story around here quite quite extensively. And so, uh, about three weeks ago, we read a story. Coinbase is like CEO or VP of whatever, whatever. Said that, okay, so, uh, said that Coinbase was applying for custodianship. Custodianship is what I just told you. Big money. They don't put their shit on letters or nanos. Actually, you're not allowed. You're not even, it's not even legal. You know, they don't keep their clients' money, you know, on BitHum or Binance or Coinbase. Like, you're not allowed. You have to have it in, like, these regulated places, sort of like a vault. And, uh, yeah, that's the way to look at it. You got to have it in these kind of vaults, and that's called custodianship. They hold it for you, custody. They take custody of the goods, and they hold it for you. And that's what we've been waiting for. And so Coinbase tricked us the other day. Three weeks ago, they said... They're applying for custodianship services. Then, that was Friday. Then on Monday, boom. I mean, go back. You can see the videos go back about a week or two in videos. And the, the titles are there, so it's easy to read. 
Coinbase was like, oh, no, actually, we're not applying. We have custodianship. And then not only do we have custodianship, but actually, we already already have 10, 10 hedge funds. So now it says that the platform, well, it looks like they're on their third tranche. Third tranche. So, boys, man, that's why we got to hurry up and get our stuff right. Oh, we got to get this warehouse right really fast, boys, really fast. I'm not going to lie. I've told you this. I thought this was going to start sec Q2 of next year. It's happening fast. You know it's coming. Oh, and if you're new here, whenever I look over here, it's because there's a tsunami of institutional money coming. Thanks to Coinbase and people like that, all that, all that Wall Street money, <laughs> all that Wall Street money is going to come, and they are going to be banging at your door, banging, begging you on their knees, begging to buy your crypto. So that's why you have to have your warehouse now, have your warehouse now nice, nice. So when these guys get here and they're banging on your door, you can sit back and be like, nah, I'm good, brah. I'll sell in a little while. Wait till they drive the prices up. Anyway, that's your choice, your choice. But that's what's happening. That's what's happening, okay? So look at this. Coinbase is on their, what does it say? Their third tranche. <laughs> third tranche. Uh, you know what a tranche is? It's a piece of uh, something. So anyway, that's economic stuff. But just look up what a tranche is. It's a piece of something. So they're on their third tranche already. So according to them, Institutions want absolute, absolute regulatory structure. Remember yesterday we read about that? So, I mean, we've, so that's what we, we've been watching around here. We've been watching that the SEC says they're going to have a light touch, <laughs> a light touch when it comes to regulatory, but they want absolute regulatory standards. And that's why FINRA, FINRA's around there looking around, any sneaky ICOs, any sneaky actors in this business, Yo, you're going to get busted, boy. You're going to get busted. You can't come around here to America and start fucking around around these parts. Nope. But if you want to make some money, you want to do it honestly, you want to put your money, you want to put you want to put your bet on the table and see if you roll and roll those dice and see if you make it. Yo, America is all about it. Uncle Sam is all about it. Come on in. Come on into the casino, boys. Woo! I got a party for you. Don't be fucking around around these parts. But you want to put your money on the table? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Sam's going to let you roll those dice, boys. So we'll be rolling those dice. So look, Adam announced that they are, uh, they have acquired a series of broker-dealer licenses. So uh, these licenses will allow the platform to operate effectively as a regulated, see what that, regulated compliance exchange. That's all, look, that's what Uncle Sam is doing. He's saying, look, your little crypto stuff, kids, you got, hey, have at it. Have fun. Have fun. Right? Just I'm not gonna let anyone fuck around around these parts, but I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let you guys have all the fun you want. So, as a regulated compliant uh, exchange, and more importantly, a regulated. Hold on. Let's, let's, you know my word. Oh, I love this word. I love this word. <laughs> it's such a dumb word. Where the fuck does this come from? But it is here, custodianship as a regulated, what does it say? Regulated, compliant, whoop, custodian. Regulated, compliant, custodian. That's what the big money wants. That's what you're waiting for, folks. Your account is never going to go up. I'm not even going to bullshit you. Your account is never, ever, ever, ever going to go up until that big money gets here. Until they get here, your account is just going to be fluttering around because we're only retail investors. All the retail money in the world, it's already here. Now we need an influx, an influx of new money. And that money comes from the institutions. And boy, that money is deep. <laughs> that money is long. You know what I'm talking about? Billions, trillions. We read yesterday, BlackRock is thinking to come in. If you don't know who BlackRock is, Two point something trillion dollars under asset management. One company thinking of coming in. So I mean, that's the level that we're playing with, boys. Your shit ain't gonna be shit till these boys get here, and that's why we're always watching on this channel. We're just we're watching, we're just watching till they get here. 
So around here, you need to pad your holdings. You need to buy more. You need to buy more. Every paycheck, every dollar you make, well, that you can spare. And I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but everything you can spare, build it. Build your, your warehouse. Because these guys are coming. The institutional investors are coming. Once they have regulated, look at the, look at the words right there, regulated compliant custody and compliant regulated exchanges. Once they have that, they're on their way. They're on the way. And that's what Coinbase is doing. That's what we're reading right now, right? Coinbase is just the first. Just the first. So get your stuff ready now. Because when they get here, I think next year, early next year, things are going to be a lot more expensive. <laughs> you know? So just do that. All right. And they're working on transparency, transparency, liquidity, and compliance. Blah, 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 blah. All right. But uh, that was a story about uh, just to keep you updated on Coinbase because we're not fucking around on these parts. Custody has happened. Compliance has occurred. Remember yesterday we read it. Remember yesterday. Has been approved. Coinbase has been approved by the SEC. No applying. They have been approved. The whales now have an opportunity to get in here. It's only one company. But man, if you want in and you got 50 billion, now I know. <laughs> Call up Coinbase. <laughs> my shit is in proper cust my assets are in proper custody and my uh assets will be safe. And that's what they want. That's what we want so we can make our money now. All right, boys. <sighs> Is 2017, and that, so this adds on to the story that I just talked about. Institutional investors. Institutional. I don't care about that little guy over there buying his little thousand ripple. <laughs> I don't care about that old lady over there buying a Bitcoin. That's not going to make our holdings go up. What will make our holdings go up, what will make our holdings go up are multi, multi hundreds of billions of dollars in money that's coming and it only comes through institutional investors that kind of money is only going to come through institutional investors what we just read about so Let's uh, check this article out. This is the year uh, institutional money will come into the cryptocurrency market thanks to development of trading infrastructure. And that's what we're talking about. Oh, man, that's such a good article. That's such a good way to say it. We're talking about the trading infrastructure. For us, there's exchanges, and we as the retail investor can get our stuff now. Well, anyone can get their stuff now. But the big money, the institutional investors, the whales, they don't play like that. Like, you know, they're not individuals, they're institutions. And so they need to have a trading infrastructure. So there needs to be, I know I keep telling you, but it's my favorite word. So there needs to be custodianship. There needs to be regulation. There needs to be cops on the beat where they can recover their funds because those funds are long. Uh, if they need to so that's what we're waiting for right now uh us the retail investors we're already in we have our cryptos right um and gaining more if if you follow what i do 30 percent of my profits of every month goes to stack my pile a little higher why don't you do use more dog if you believe in what you're yeah yeah but just keep yourself safe too there's nothing wrong with the a bank account full of cash too um and so that's what we're waiting for or well, that's what they're waiting for is now a trading infrastructure properly regulated you know licensed and all this stuff uh for them to bring their money and that's what this guy is saying so he says uh tab uh, uh the guy from the tab group if 2017 was the year cryptocurrencies went mainstream, 
then 2018 is certainly shaping up to be the year they go institutional. And if you've been following this channel, you know, we've been watching it, right? It's going institutional, right? Uh, you know, we've been watching it. I mean, we and I just said about 15 minutes of crap about it. Like, you know, not crap. I mean, the truth. But, you know, started out with, well, we're going to apply for custodianship. Or, or first of all, started out with, please give us custody. And then finally, Coinbase and those guys were like, we'll give you custody. And then Coinbase and those guys were like, oh, we're applying for custody. And then like, oh, we have custody. So you see the progress we're making? Do you see the progress we're making? Uh, the politicians at the beginning of last year, uh, ending of last year, what is a cryptocurrency? Now they know what it is. Well, how should we regulate it? Now they're not asking. Uh, I mean, so it should even be legal. Now they've decided it will be legal. Well, how do we classify it as a security or a commodity? Now they're classifying them as a security commodity. Do you see the progress that this industry that we are invested in is making? That's what this channel, I try to show you that is that we're moving forward all the time towards our goal of, I mean, my goal is to sell my warehouse of cryptocurrencies to a bunch of greedy, hungry Wall Street guys at the best price I can get it. That's the point, right? That's the overall point, right? And uh, and that's what's going down, right? So uh, if, if 2017 brought it mainstream, 2018 is bringing in now the infrastructure for institutional investors to get here. So you saw the progress we've been making over this year. I started this channel, what, in February? I've been talking since then. If you go back, just read all the stories. You see the progress. And our ultimate goal is for them to get here. And then our ultimate goal is our December 31st, 2020 party <laughs> when we're all rich. But we have work to do so let's just get to that um we'll get there though <laughs> wow <laughs> it's inevitable um so um of the institution the capital markets research and confirms blah, blah, blah. okay so cryptocurrency investors have been waiting for institutional money have been waiting for institutional money to come into the market Many expected the launch of Bitcoin futures. I know, I thought this too. On major U exchanges last December, or well, December 2017, would have helped, but Bitcoin has lost more than half of its value since then. Uh, the market capitalization of all cryptocurrencies has also halved from 800 billion to 400 billion. Now, I want you to, this is a little something I want to tell you just because I'm a market guy. If you're new here and you haven't, you don't know who I am. My name is Shamari. And you can go to forexfactory.com, type in my name, S-H-O-M-A-R-I in the search, and you'll see I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually an investor and trader. I've been trading for over 18 years. So I've been in the markets. I've battled with these Wall Street boys in the markets <laughs> for 18 years. That's how I make my money. I uh, Okay? So you're actually listening to an investor. And let me tell you, uh, 800 the market right now is only 400 billion dollars there are hedge funds single hedge funds we just read about blackrock yesterday remember that how many trillions do they have so uh, that's why i want you to understand how important it is for you to keep your crypto because when that money floods in the, like uh, like the, Oh my gosh, so holy. So when that money floods in, there are hedge funds with like $500 billion <laughs> by themselves. So when they come here to buy all of your, what you have in your warehouse. So if you're new here, what we do here is we build a warehouse. What we do around these parts, we're building a warehouse and holding that because we know what's coming. And so when they get here, they're gonna be wanting to buy all your stuff every scrap of coin we didn't even get to the airdrop coins yet every coin scrap they can get their hands on which is going to drive the value up it's like being a drug dealer if you're the only drug dealer in town well everyone's got to get their stuff from you you can charge what you want well <clears throat> this is crypto land there's only so much crypto in town and as much as you have they're going to want to buy it 
And so the question is, do you sell your crypto cheap or do you sell it more expensive? That'll be up to you. But uh, that's what's going down now that the institutional investors, and that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about institutional money, not little mom and pop, not your buddy who works at the local whatever accounting house or you know your buddy who's a little lawyer or something at some law firm. No, no, no. Institutional money. So now uh, the market's only four hundred billion. Blah 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 blah. Now, Omen says that for a year or two now, there has been a growing demand, a growing demand only from institutional investors. I know I'm always giggling and laughing on here because this I know what it means. I know what it means. I'm an investor. Like I said, I've been investing for 18 years. I've paddled these boys for 18 years. I know what it means when these people come They're They're, they're not going to be coming here and like haggling over price. <laughs> they're going to be. Rawr! Whatever price you tell them, they're going to just be buying your goods. OK, we'll get to that when that comes. I mean, it's still a ways off. Oh, my bad, boys. I didn't even take a look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Still on the way, guys. So, uh, it's not the only step for, or that Bitcoin, oh, wait, my bad, demands institutes investors such as family offices representing high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals for ways to invest in cryptocurrencies while still being covered by the same protections, by the same protections offered by traditional markets. And that's it. You see the stock market, guys? Boom, boom, boom. They buy, they sell, they trade. Any insider trading, bang, a guy gets arrested. Any shenanigans, bang, a guy gets arrested. That's what they want. They want, if any shenanigans in this crypto market happen, bang, someone's going to get arrested. It's a deterrent, right? No way you're going to get arrested. It will deter you. And that's what we need. That's what we want. That's what we're waiting for. That is what is coming with a light touch, the SEC told us last week. And uh, it's going to be good stuff. You're going to be rich. Uh, straight up, you're going to make money. Um, so it's not the only step that Bitcoin cryptocurrency seems to have taken towards mainstream acceptance in recent days. Uh, regulated trading in Bitcoin futures will begin this month on two exchanges, including the world's biggest futures ex futures exchange uh futures though you don't actually own the asset but whatever it's still good news it means mass adoption uh, this response a challenge oh uh, this represents a challenge unique to wait i highlighted too much oh here we go we want investors to feel that they are part of this market in a secure way as possible do you do you notice the same words keep coming up custodianship security regulated licensed do you notice uh if you're new here uh go back watch all these videos the same words keep coming up and that's what we're waiting for that's what the big dogs are waiting for security regulated licensed safe custody those same words keep coming don't they uh it's clear that big money is becoming increasingly interested in bitcoin cryptocurrency and blockchain as assets in their own right as well as because of the transformative potential of the technology now uh Though many questions remain surrounding the impact of what the impact of the institutional investors will have on cryptocurrencies, one thing is certain, investors' interest is higher than ever. So we already know what the impact is going to be. We're not stupid, right? Uh, if you bring a bunch of billions of dollars into an industry that's only worth, what did we say? What was it? $400 billion is the market cap. $400 billion market cap. And you bring a trillion in, well, things have to triple and quadruple and blah, 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 right? Like it'll be multiple exponential growth. Exponential is probably not the right word, but multiples of growth 
Well, that is the right word. Uh, so, uh, higher than ever, as the actions of Goldman Sachs and ICE demonstrates, it's only a matter of time. It is only a matter of time before these what? High volume investors become fully, full participants in the cryptocurrency market. They're, they're not going to let it go. Okay, I'll tell you right now, Wall Street's going to take this over. Right now, it's me and you. We run stuff. Well, we don't run anything. We own the stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's get real. Wall Street's going to come in and, well, I'm, I'm just going to sell it all eventually, right, at the right price. And let them take it over. So, you know, they're going to run it. Uh, I'm here for the profits. Uh, that's what this channel is about. We're about straight cash around these parts. And I'm here for the money. I don't care about the whole philosophical uh, libertarianism or it's going to replace fiat or any of that kind of crap. I'm waiting for these guys. I have a warehouse of goods. And when they get here, I'm going to hold till so the price gets real nice. And then I'm going to sell and have at it, buddies. Uh, but that's my opinion. That's my thing. You know, I'm, I don't shill or, I mean, sorry, I don't tell you what to do with your money. Now, individ individual investors are setting themselves up to bring significant changes to the market. And when this begins in full force, widespread adoption, widespread adoption is sure to follow. That's why I will be selling out, but I will keep some stuff <laughs> because it'll probably just keep growing and growing too. Whether they gra now, whether these institutional investors, uh, whether they gradually trickle in into the market or enter in a sudden rush, and that's the problem, right? Like, man, it's happening so fast. Like I told you, I thought la I thought Q two of next year we would see the rush, or well, at least just see the beginnings, but we don't know how fast it's gonna be, and that's why I'm telling you, get all you can now, man, every penny you can now, don't risk that, boom, uh, uh, <laughs> the flood comes and like, ah, oh, you could have made more if you had bought more earlier, you know what I mean? Um, Just, that's what I'm doing, so that's my personal opinion, that's what I'm gonna do. So whether they gradually trickle in Right, whether they gradually trickle in or there's a sudden rush, it's time to seriously consider how they will disrupt an already disruptive market. And that's what we're talking about. When they get here, the money is gonna rise. So the question is or your 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 tokens are gonna rise and the prices are gonna rise. So the question is, how much tokens do you want to have now before they get here? Okay. Uh, it's time to see consider how to disrupt an already disrupted market. Money managers for pension plans and endowments have been laying the groundwork to invest in cryptocurrencies this year, according to some investors and industry consultants. But they still are on the sidelines for now. Many are holding off because of the volatility, security issues, and the headline risk. Right, security, like we told you, custodianships and different stuff. Once everyone's licensed, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, uh, caboose the prices. So the word on the street is that significant additional, significant additional institutional money is being amassed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't you love that word? Amassed. Look, look. Like I said, you've got cryptocurrency boys uh, and girls, whoever you are out there. Money is being amassed to come and buy that from you. It's like, like I said, it's like you're a drug dealer and you've got this drug, and they all want it. They are putting their money together. They are literally putting their money together so that they can come and buy the crypto that you have. So you gotta hold on to that crypto and, 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 and like hold on tight. The weak ones, if you gotta pay your rent, if you gotta pay your mortgage in that, those people, they'll sell early. But when there's no more of those people, what's gonna happen? Well, the prices are going to go up, aren't they? Right? People are going to be asking, please, man, sell me a ripple for a dollar. You just hold it. <laughs> well, yeah, my ripples ain't going till maybe $20, maybe 30 maybe 50 You see what I'm saying? So uh, 
that's what this show is about. Like, I want you guys to stay strong, stay safe. Look, look, like our boy Jay Will says, and this is the slogan around these parts, shut up, wife. I'm about that whole life. <laughs> we're holding. We're holding until all this big money gets here, and we're going to sell them our goods for a nice price, a nice profit. Okay, guys. So we had that story on Tron, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, fuck all that. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I will just say that Tron is burning the tokens. So if you are a Tron holder, if you are a Tron holder, well, you're making money right now because Tron's burning those tokens. And uh, yeah, well, you're making money. Good for you. And that's good stuff. Now, announcements. Announcements. Oh, yeah. So shout outs. Shout outs. Yo, yo, yo. Edwin, I see you. So here's the page. Bang, Edwin. I see you over here working. And then what well, we got Warren, Warren retweeting, Warren Young, a new guy, brother, brother, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party, brother. <laughs> That's how we do around these parts. Just make money. Hope you got those airdrops. Go to Ada Bob. Hold on. Uh, I got to tell this guy, Warren. I got to tell this guy, Warren. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't worry, Warren. I'll get back to you on that in a second. Oh, and I'll tell you right now. Warren, go to at, on Twitter, go to Bob eight four four one one three two zero. He's gonna get you squared away with the airdrops. <laughs> Yo, we'll be making mad loot around these parts. He had an airdrop marathon this weekend. All right, uh, Warren, nice to see you. Uh, and I see everyone working here. Bang! What's this, Damian Tulsa? Nice to meet you, brother. Oh, take a stand against poverty. Whoever you are, I keep seeing your stuff. Thank you for retweeting. Thank you for doing it. Everyone do those airdrops that Bob gives us so that we make extra money, okay? Everyone's got to make that extra money. And uh, Gamer Geek, I see you, brother. Bang. Ronkas, see you. Oh, what? Oh, Crypto Sarah? Sarah, come talk to me and the boys in the comments in there, girl. Come on. We're a friendly bunch. We're a friendly bunch of guys. Come and talk to us. Show us what you holding, what you working with. We love that. We love that. And so, guys, and Jay Will, of course, and the normal crew, Edwin Evans, Ada, the Minister of Hairdraw. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know how we do round these parts. Now, all right, so let's wrap this up. Uh, let's do our usual. Uh, let's see what the markets did while I spoke. Uh, not much. Same ones, blah, 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 top 10. We know how we do it. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin, Cash, Yields, Litecoin, Stellar, Cardano, IOTA, and oh, Tether. All right, guys. So it's been a great show. Thanks for coming out. Uh, look, uh, if you're new here, come back often. Come back always. Go to, um, oh, oh, we did those airdrops last night. So go to the last comments from last night's show, and I put the airdrop. Oh, my bad. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. I know, I know. All right, so we did the airdrop last night. We did, what, would, what, what did we do? We did, hold on, idle coin. So go to the, go to the thing, bang, I put the, I put the link in the, the comments, and then we did notice network, bang. Uh, we did those and we got those free tokens. So free money, boys, go get it. And so now for real, this is the end, <laughs> all right? But, but go back there and go get that free money. Uh, go get that because we just did that last night and uh, and so the money's oh and then the Bitcoin diamond bullshit at a Bob shoulders Bitcoin diamond they didn't give out the coins fuck those assholes fuck them all right guys so this has been Shamari subscribe below uh, thank you very much for coming uh, we appreciate you being here uh, you know that's how we roll around these parts um and so oh, oh yeah so subscribe and also press that little button press there there's a little button um uh beside the subscribe button and that will give you instant updates because we do airdrops we do different things and we make money around these parts and so you want to be able to get it right away okay so thank you my name's shamari this has been a good show Whew. shamari clark over and out